For the exam, you want to remember diabetes mellitus. There are basically two types of diabetes mellitus, type 1 and type 2. DM type 1 is when the client is generally insulin dependent. This affects younger individuals. Specifically, the pancreas may not be producing enough insulin. With type 2 diabetes mellitus, this is usually called adult onset diabetes because this generally affects adults. This is a condition where there is enough insulin being produced by the pancreas. However, there might be problems with insulin sensitivity. With diabetes mellitus type 1 and type 2, the client will suffer from the three P's, polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. With diabetes mellitus, this is a metabolic disease whereby the blood sugar levels are elevated, so they suffer from hyperglycemia. The normal fasting blood glucose levels should be between 4 to 6 millimoles per liter. Remember that the general diabetes management includes diet, so a diet in complex carbohydrates, exercise, and medication, specifically insulin. Here's a typical type of question dealing with diabetes. Mr. Leggett, a 44-year-old client with type 2 diabetes, has recently received an external insulin pump prescribed by his physician. The nurse provides Mr. Leggett with information about the pump. Which of the following statement is the most appropriate information about the pump? 1. The client may self-administer a bolus with an additional dosage from the pump after each meal. 2. An external insulin pump provides the client with small continuous doses of regular insulin subcutaneously. 3. An external insulin pump regularly monitors blood glucose levels during the night. Or 4. An external insulin pump stimulates the pancreas and increases the release of insulin into the bloodstream. The answer is 2. An external insulin pump provides the client with small continuous doses of regular insulin subcutaneously. Note that the pump is not surgically attached to the pancreas.